Hello, I'm Andrew Engel from Sybil Gifts Farm in Northeast Washington. I'm going to show you today how to build an inexpensive, easy, but very effective hoop house. The first thing you'll need to do is to lay out the hoop house. You can see I've laid out my tape measure here. I typically make mine between 75 and 80 feet long. Although you could really make them any length you wanted, as long as you get the plastic the right long, long enough to fit it. I use 100 foot rolls of plastic, which is why I use this length. So I, and I use 5 8 rebars for the stakes. It's usually uh, 2 to 2 and a half feet long. If you had real soft soil, you might want to use 3 foot. The other thing I do is I weld these 7 16 washers about 8 to 12 inches from the top as something to tie off my, my uh, ropes that go over the top of my plastic later too. Although there's another very effective method that works well using stakes, which I'll show you later. So I'm going to go ahead and drive this rebar in started. Now there's going to be uh, two rows of these and they'll be 12 feet apart and I continue to put my stakes in every five feet all the way down. I've actually already started a hoop house right over here so for now I'm going to go ahead and move over there and we'll show you some more. My son David is going to come over here and give me a hand. David, come on help me put these hoops on. I use one inch PVC conduit for the stake or for the uh, hoop, which works good. You could also use one inch PVC water pipe, although it uh, won't last as long because they're not UV resistant. When they're brand new, they're not pre-bent like this, and it really helps to have two people to put them on um, with a little more strength because you have to stick them on one end and then bow them over. But it's still very doable. Hey David, could you get the other one? These ones were used last year and so they're already pre-bent. Okay, so I've got all of the hoops on. The next step is going to be to tie a piece of rope from the stake I put in the ground here, just a little bit less than a 45 degree angle, to each of these hoops on the way down. This will hold the hoop house uh, tight from end to end and keep the hoops from moving around, help support the plastic. I usually use cotton clothesline for a ridge line, and it always seems to work pretty well. Usually you get a couple of seasons out of the cotton rope before it falls apart. So I just tie it on here. Doesn't really matter what knot you use so long as it doesn't come loose. And then I come up. I should say that stake I usually put six to eight feet back from the first hoop. And this first hoop, you'll want to get the, uh, a good knot because if you don't, it'll have a tendency to move around. And it'll kind of move, move in like this. So I'll often even actually put my first hoop slightly out of level towards the original state. For all the rest of these, just a basic half hitch. It doesn't really matter. They'll move a little bit, but it doesn't really pose much of a problem. And it's much easier to take apart when you take it down in the fall. Now is the time to put the plastic on. I like to use uh, 24 foot wide plastic. I've used 20 foot before, but it's real hard to get a nice seal on the edges. So if you have a 24 foot wide, it gives you an extra two feet on each side. And it gives you a lot of grace there. I'm just using today this regular plastic sheeting from the hardware store, six mil thickness. And it will only last you one season. But greenhouse plastic is a lot more expensive. If you plan to do it for quite a while, it's well worth the investment to get the true greenhouse plastic. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now, and my wife's going to help me. We're going to put this plastic on the on the shelf. All right, so we've got the plastic all setting on top of the hoops. The next thing is to tie it down. As far as the ends, you need to bunch them all tightly together and tie them to this other stake that I put in about about a foot and a half to two foot behind the one that the rope is tied to going to the ridge pole. I like to use a heavier duty rope for this part. Let's get it tied down.
tighten my plastic lengthwise. When you tie your other end, you want to make sure to uh, pull it nice and tight. And there's a good chance you'll have to retighten it. And so what I would recommend is leaving a little bit of space between the stake and your knot on the plastic so you can pick up tension later without having to move your stake. Now I'm going to pull the plastic tight with a rope going over the top. I usually try to put these between each um, set of hoops. Sometimes I've gotten away with going every other set of hoops, but if the wind blows real hard, oftentimes it'll come apart. So this is the, the method I used to use, and it's probably the method that would be the easiest for you, especially if you don't weld. I drive this stake in here about a 45 degree angle, and then I come over, I already tied it on the other side, and just tie it on. And there's also a good chance these may need to be tightened if the plastic loosens up. And you can easily do that just kind of by looping it over more, like that. The other way I do this is like I showed you earlier with the with the 7 16th washer welded onto my onto my uh, stakes. I just shove the shove the rope through there. And with these ones, I often make a, a special knot that's easy to adjust later, just by. Uh, it up. Now the only problem with this method is if you get a strong wind, oftentimes the whole rebar hoop and all will pull out of the ground. It's not a problem very often, but it can happen. And so the wooden stakes actually does hold better, but this is definitely less work for me. Our hoop house is now complete. As you can see, there is a tremendous amount of growing space in here. This hoop house is 12 foot wide and 75 feet long. My wife and I can put this up in just about two hours. If it's your first time, it will likely take a fair bit longer, uh, but you should easily be able to do it in less than half a day. Another thing you'll need to keep in mind is ventilation. On most days, if the sun is shining, even cool ones, you'll need to have some ventilation or your plants will easily overheat. One thing we've found that works quite well are these simple spring clamps. You can get in any hardware store for just a few dollars. And what you do is you just lift up the side, clamp it on there, plastic sets on it. Works real well. You'll probably want to do this in about four locations, two on each side of the hoop house. When you're ready to deventilate, lift it up and drop the plastic down. The way you get in and out of this hoop house is also through the side like that. We will normally leave one side that's designated as a doorway and leave a section of bed unplanted. If you need more information, go to our website at www.simplegiftsfarm.net. If you click on the blog tab, You'll be able to go to a blog post that will show you some more pictures, instructions, and a detailed materials list on how to complete this project. Thank you for watching this video, and have a great gardening year.